All right, here's a box, but not just any box, because this box says GameSec on the side of it. Now, as many of you know, I'm wrapping up the first CGR feature review, which is a feature-length cinematic-style review of Musha for the Sega Genesis. And Joe from GameSec contacted me and asked if I wanted to play the game with a special something. Uh, there, there's a section of the film all about controllers, and he uh, he's loaning me something here and said, I think it'll be good for you to unbox it on camera. So, uh, just, just knowing Joe, I'm assuming that there's something obnoxious inside of here, but I don't know what. Hopefully a hustler or something. So, um, maybe we'll get a real surprise when I open it. We'll see. I feel like I need to keep the game sack sticker and put that on something later. All right, you ready? Ooh, there's two stickers. All right, here we go. Sadly, there is no Hustler. But there is the XE1AP controller, which will work better if bubble wrap is removed prior to playing Musha. Oh, Joe. Still no Hustler. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, more stickers! Oh, new ones! Good. We're gonna do a sticker swap, Joe. I'll send you a bunch back. Game Sack! Looks good upside down as well. If you haven't seen it, watch Game Sack's review of this thing. I have not used it yet, obviously. I just took it out of the bubble wrap. But it's, it's supposed to be interesting. And there's a big section of the film about which Sega Genesis controller is best for playing Musha. And, uh, in fact, I've got one here that I was just, just filming uh, earlier today. The Hori Fighting Stick Multi. But now I have this, this monstrosity, the Analog Digital Intelligent Controller System from Ecomsoft. Same folks who make the Freemeister! Jo Joe asked if I would try to beat the game with this thing. That is one hell of a controller. Look at this thing. Wow. All right. Well, you'll be seeing it in the CGR feature review, the XE1AP. And thank you to GameSec. Don't, don't forget to watch their review of it. Although it's not quite as heavy as you guys made it out to be on camera. I mean, it's heavy in like, you know, the Back to the Future kind of, kind of way, but... This feels like I should be flying a remote control helicopter from the 80s. And I kind of like that. <laughs> we'll see how it works. I think the true test of this controller will not be whether or not it plays Musha. It's whether or not it plays Porky's for the Atari 2600. Now that right there is a winning combination. Whoa! 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 single enemy on screen at the same time. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware.